Tesla has reportedly achieved 2,000 to 3,000 savings from its 4680 battery cells. When it comes to Tesla's 4680 new batteries, there is a good news and bad news. And in this report, I'm going to tell you all about that, friends. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com, and let's get started with this report. The good news about Tesla's 4680 batteries is that by using bigger cells, and a new process to dry coat electrodes, Tesla could halt the cost of Model Y battery, saving more than 8% of the car's US starting price. That's a lot of money. Battery experts with ties to Tesla told to Reuters. I will have the link of that report in the description of this video so you guys can see for reference. But there is a bad news too. The bad news, the experts say, is that it's only halfway there. According to 12 experts close to Tesla or familiar with its new technology, Reuters reports today, just a few hours ago. That's because the dry coding technique used to produce Tesla's bigger cells in Tesla's 4680 battery is so new. That technique is so new and unproven Tesla is having trouble scaling up manufacturing to the point where, it, where the big cost savings kick in, the experts told Reuters. Here's what they said. They just aren't ready for mass production, said one of the experts close to Tesla. In August, Tesla CEO Elon Musk told shareholders that uh, Tesla would be producing high volumes of 4680 batteries by the end of 2022. According to the experts, Tesla has only been able to cut the Model Y's battery cost by between $2,000 and $3,000 so far, which is still significant, which is the half the savings Tesla had planned for the 4680 battery, which it unveiled two years ago at the battery day on uh, uh, September 20th in 2020. Tesla was hoping that it will achieve about $5,000 cost cutting. And Tesla may still do, will still do. And I'm about to tell you about that. So stick with me, please. But for now, because of some difficulties, Tesla has been able to achieve somewhere between $2,000 to $3,000 cost, uh, cost cutting with Model Y, according to these experts, which Reuters quote. Some uh, Reuters named some of the experts, but mostly they are unnamed uh, because they are Reuters sources. Like I said, I will have Reuters link in the description of this video for you to for reference now but those savings those 2300 2000 to 3000 dollars 4680 battery savings have come mainly from the design of the new 4680 battery cells which are bigger than those in tesla's current 2170 battery they said i mean if you're making things bigger you probably save some money but not the way in which you dry coat the uh, the, the cathode which is the specific technique they're trying to reach in the production of electric vehicles now but the heart of the drive to push down the costs is the dry coating technology which musk has described as revolutionary but difficult to execute according to the sources of reuters it should deliver as much as half of the 5500 cost cut savings like i said the other 2000 3000 has been reached and if tesla fixes this they will have another uh, half which will make the total cost cutting of model y to $5,500. That's cost, cost saving Tesla hopes to achieve by slashing manufacturing costs and one-time capital spending. I mean, imagine you spend one-time capital, you slash manufacturing costs, you make the Tesla Model Y $5,500 expense, uh, less expensive, discount the price, and make it more competitively sold in the market. And today's in today's rising, rising cost, that's an important thing to achieve because cars are becoming expensive, resources are expensive, Supply is expensive or sometimes non-existent. And 5,500 could be a lifeline for many people who are wishing to buy Tesla Model Y. So much of the $2,000 to $3,000 cost savings achieved with the 4680 battery so far has come from other improvements, not that specific technique of dry coating, and uh, has come from using bigger cells, which has proven particularly potent, these experts said, that Tesla is on the right track. The 4680 battery cells are 5.5 times the size of the 2170 cells by volume. 
the older cylindrical cells measure 21 millimeters in diameter and 70 millimeters in height hence the name 2170 the 46 ad cells have a 46 millimeter diameter uh, diameter and 80 millimeter height which is again that, that's where the 46 ad battery cells name come with the older technology, Tesla needs about 4,400 cells to power the Model Y and there are 17,600 points that need to be welded, 4 per cell, to create a pack that can be integrated into the car, the sources said. The 4680 battery pack only needs 830 cells and Tesla has changed the design so that there are only two weld points per cell, slashing the welding to 1,660 points and leading to significant cost savings. The simpler design also means there are fewer connections and other components which has allowed Tesla to save further on labor costs and machine time. Another source of efficiency has been the larger cells, far sturdier, sturdier outer case. Tesla can now bond the cells together with adhesive into a rigid honeycomb-like pack, which is then connected directly to the inner body structure of the Model Y. This eliminates the intermediate step of building cells into larger modules, which are then installed in a traditional battery pack, the sources said. By shifting to this cell-to-vehicle design, Tesla can reduce the weight of a traditional 1,200-pound battery pack by 55 pounds or more, saving about $500 to $600 per pack, one of the sources said to Reuters. But mastering the dry coding technique remains something that you want very much, but it is very hard to get or to achieve. Now, bulking up the battery cell helped a lot of uh, a lot in boosting efficiency but pushing for 50 percent cost saving for the cell as a whole is another matter one source told reuters and another said that will depend on whether tesla can deploy the dry coding process successfully in a factory so we're looking forward to hear more information whether tesla or when tesla will be able to deploy the dry coding process successfully in its battery factories if all the potential efficiencies from dry coating and the bigger cells are realized, the manufacturing cost for the Model Y's 4680 battery pack should fall to $5,000 to $5,500, roughly half the cost of the 2170 pack, according to the sources. The rising cost of battery materials and energy pose a risk to those forecasts, however, and Tesla has not yet been able to significantly improve the new battery's energy density or the amount of power it packs as musk has promised still despite those factors the savings tesla is expected to achieve will end up making the 4680 battery the industry's best in class for the foreseeable future one source told to reuters but you see the most important thing once you hear when tesla is successfully dry coating the batteries uh, anodes and cathodes in its battery factories then that's a big news that you can see that either Tesla's uh, savings, uh, either Tesla's revenue will go up, or if they lower the cost of the Model Y, you can hope for that Tesla may be able to sell more cars because it will further five, about two thousand five hundred dollars more will lower the cut the cost of Model Y. So friends, let me know. Let me know your thoughts all about all these things. What do you think? This is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. Please like this report if you found it interesting. Um, and I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you. Have a great day.